Hi, I'm on my way to skate today. It's my day off, but I am headed to a different ice rink to practice. We do a lifts lesson and um, stuff with a coach up there that's a friend of mine that also, um, he knows a lot about pairs. And since I'm a girl, I don't know a lot of the holds. The, I know how they feel, but I've never done them obviously. So it's kind of good for my partner to work with a guy occasionally. So we head up there, I'm just not feeling it today. And normally I love my Olympic few days. They're really fun, but it's just not, I'm just not feeling it today. So anyway, my elbow is really hurt. I have like a shirt on, so you can't see it, but I fell, I opened up forward on a throw jump like midair I just like changed my mind I don't know it felt fine but I don't know it, ugh, it's high skating and I fell forward directly onto my elbow so I'm kind of like not sure I want to do any jumps because I don't want to fall my elbow but I should be okay um that's what I'm doing today I was gonna teach today because I have a lady that can't come in tomorrow but I moved her till Thursday so I have today off so I'm just going up to skate um, because I have a week and we usually go we usually go every other week sometimes once a month it just depends but because of the competition we've been going um, we've probably gone like three times in the last four weeks so anyway I'll see you guys around skating rink looks like the day after regionals one person <laughs> that's not really stretching <laughs> Okay, so skating up north went relatively well. Um, it was the day after regionals and it's where regionals was, so it was completely dead, so we had really good practice time. Um, when we got there, there was one skater out taking a lesson. Then one of my students came and practiced for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So we had like the whole second half, we skated about three hours to ourselves. Um, so we had to do some lifts and things like that, but mainly we practiced jumps because I am doing singles as well. And I had some weird things going on with my jumps. Um, so I just wasn't feeling double toe loops as a second jump. So I've literally put double toe loops on the end of everything, even throw jumps. So that was pretty interesting because you never see anybody do that. But I was like, okay, I can't do any toe loops. Like even a single toe loop felt weird on the end of a jump. And you only get so many loops, so for pairs it's not such a big deal, but for singles it really is. So I was like, I have to have at least one double toe loop in this program. I can do it by itself, but in combination. So I literally did every single jump with toe loops on the end of it. And that went well. I could do every jump with toe loops on the end of it yesterday. So I was really happy about that. Even sow cow, which I hate toe loop on the end of sow cow. It's really hard, it feels weird. So. With that being said, I think I should be okay for my singles program. Definitely not going to win. Not even, you know, I mean, obviously you always try to do your best, but I don't even think my best would win. So, I mean, it's ice skating, so you never really know. Um, it's kind of, it's it's not as subjective as the fitness competitions, which I like, but it's, it's one of those things where the best skater in the group could literally miss every jump and then... I could actually be the only one that doesn't mess up. So there is a chance, but very, very slim. Um, we're aiming to win the pairs uh, event, which that could go either way because the other people have harder lifts um, than we do. Our lifts are pretty lame, but that's okay. 
Our throws are harder when my head's in the game. Some days I'm just I'm like, I don't wanna do a throw. Um, so just depends on the day. Uh, but as far as working out goes, totally different than fitness competitions. I do cardio every day, I skate. So sometimes I do fasted, sometimes I go right after the gym. I don't really have like a, or right after skating, I don't really have a set schedule for the cardio. Um, my, my thing is I have to do something other than skating every day. So if I'm not feeling going to the gym and hitting the elliptical machine, I'll do my treadmill at home or I will take the dog for a walk. So I count that too. Um, right now the weather isn't great, so the dog walking hasn't happened as much. So I have been doing my cardio. I usually do fasted in the morning, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then I do cardio after skating Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. And that's just because of how early I either teach or practice myself. Um, so been trying to go to different rinks, um, which is sort of important. For me, it's not such a big deal. All ice to me is fine. My skating partner has trouble with death spirals on softer ice. So we try to go to different rinks right before we compete so he can kind of get used to it. Um, so probably this week we're gonna go to another rink that's close to ours on Friday. So they're supposed to have the softest ice in the area. We skated there on Saturday after I, I taught all my lessons and then we went over there and he was skinning a little. So he's gonna sharpen his blades we're gonna try it again. Uh, it will probably be a little more crowded because regionals is over. And so by Friday, people will probably start getting back into it. Um, so that, that, that'll that start adding to it again. But uh, and that rink seems small to me. It's not. I think the boards are higher. I don't know. It just seems small. So when there's more people there, it's a little bit uncomfortable. So hopefully it's not too crowded. Um, but yeah, I do my cardio. I still lift, but only about three times a week. I'm probably not going to lift at all this week. I don't want to get anything sore. So I'm just going to do cardio. As far as food goes, I'm eating less carbs this week and then I'll start to eat more carbs towards the end of the week because I want to unbloat. Um, and so what I'll usually do, and this doesn't work for everybody, but this is what I usually do. With skating competitions, I don't have to like cut water and all that stuff because, well, that wouldn't really work. I've heard some people do that but I, I definitely wouldn't do that. So I'm drinking just as much water throughout the whole week. I don't change that at all. Um, I do though cut my carbs. So like this whole week, Monday through Friday, I'm gonna eat less carbs. Um, and then I'll start to add them back in low sodium carbs towards the end of the week um, up until when I compete and then I add the sodium back because you want the sodium when you're actually in your program because it holds your water you don't want to flush all that out so but I do a little bit lower sodium so probably Saturday Sunday Monday next week I'll do lower sodium so then I'm not all bloated and waterlogged I do a little less of the um, leafy greens and stuff too now even though last week that was like every meal because um, I was doing the fiber and stuff but then I cut back a little bit on the fiber as I get closer um, so the night before though I compete, I always eat something really, really high carbohydrate. I'll get like um, pasta or something, but not with cheese or anything like that. I don't have a problem with it too bad, but I have before where I've had like a milkshake or something too close to a competition and it like flums up your throat. So I try to stay away from that. But the nutrition, I don't have like a set thing like I do for bikini where I have to eat a certain thing or it's like all over, it'll ruin the whole week. Like there's no peak week like that. Um, but I do still eat every three hours, um, but I cut my eating at seven instead of 8.30 like I do with bikini. So I eat a little bit more early because my training is earlier, um, and then I cut. Um, for me, I'm not like your super like skinny mini skater because I do fitness competitions, so I'm always going to hold a little bit more muscle, um, which I don't really think is a bad thing. Uh, but some people they're like, Oh, well, that, well for skaters, shouldn't you totally change your nutrition completely? I don't really, cause I'm still going to compete fitness. So I have a fitness competition next April, so I don't want to lose all my muscle, but this week I am definitely not doing any lifting. Um, so I might cut a little because I'm going to be doing more cardio, but 
Overall, I kind of just do normal living and I do compete skating at about 10 pounds heavier than I compete at fitness competition. Um, but my skating partner is so used to my weight now, it's not a huge, it's not a huge deal. Like if I was to cut too much, it might actually throw us off. So um, he's gotten so used to me at this weight that I just kind of stay how it is. And my costumes were made to fit the size I am now. So I'm not trying to cut weight this week. Just so you guys know, it's not like a fitness competition. I'm just trying to de-bloat so I feel comfortable um, because bloated just doesn't feel comfortable. So it's getting rid of the bloat, not the weight. So totally different than a fitness competition. Well, you're trying to get rid of bloat too for fitness. But anyway, so yeah, um, today I am going to um, skate for two hours, a uh, little bit of lessons. Then tomorrow I have a lot of lessons and I skate a little bit for myself and then Thursday I have it's 50 50 and then Friday um, right now my Friday skater she normally has like an hour and a half we do a bunch of like training and stuff she's injured so I'm not I'm not having her lesson so I'll probably only teach one lesson on Friday then um, and then Saturday Sunday all lessons no skating so I have to get my practice in this week because as soon as Saturday hits I teach straight Sunday I teach straight and then I head to the airport. Um, I could probably find a public session at another rink, but really I feel okay. It's my skating partner that is always the one that needs a little bit extra practice at the end because he just needs it to calm his, he's fine, but helps him, calms him. So he can skate while I'm teaching, I guess, because I don't really want to try and do pairs on a public session somewhere. It's probably not the best idea. Um, so anyway, I know that a lot of you that watch my channel are, um, fitness people. Um, so I'm sorry if this like completely bores you, just skip over these videos. Um, but for the figure skating people, I just wanted to kind of, cause you see my videos and you're like, oh, she skates, but she doesn't really talk about it at all. Like I only talk about my bikini stuff. So I just wanted to kind of touch bases on it cause it's totally different on the, like the way you prep for it. But the competition itself is just as it's, it's like fitness competitions. It's like, Oh my gosh, it's here. It's so fun. It's kind of the same thing. And it's also like all your training is done. There's nothing else you can do once you get there. So like bikini competitions, like people try and like cram the last few days, like really getting their cardio. And I'm like, if you haven't done it, the eight weeks before this it ain't happening in three days. That's how figure skating competitions are. So we get practice there. But what I always tell my students is practice at competition is not practice. It's basically just getting your feet under you. It They call it a warm up for a reason. Even the practice size they call practice size. It's not really practice. If you don't have your jump by the time you get to the competition, not thinking you're probably going to get it there. And if you do, that's awesome. But is it going to get be able to be in your program if you just got it? It takes a while to train things in your program to be comfortable. Um, so as far as that goes, whatever work has been done is if we don't have it today, we're not going to have it when we get there. So that's just kind of how, and that's how bikini competitions are too. If you slacked, if you just slack the whole time and you're like, yeah, I'll eat pizza today. It's cool. I'll get back on it tomorrow. And then you realize tomorrow is a week out. Probably not going to work very well for you. But anyway, so um, tomorrow I will go over a little bit more of the scoring and things like that. Um, I'm going to, I put some clips in earlier of some skating. I'll do that too. Um, my phone dies Oh, fast now in the cold. I really don't want to get a new phone. I like my phone, but um, I might just get a better camera because these videos I know aren't the best um, with just an iPhone. Um, but yeah, that freezes. So sometimes I'll be like, yes, so good. Let's video it. And then my phone's dead. So sorry. Um, but anyway, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.